So this bag is a little bit different for me. Let me show you like up close. Um, it's got this really cute little knot detail here. All of like the, what's this called? Like accordion folds here. Um, and then it goes bigger. A nice strap that you can change the length of. So as you can see on the back here, you could change the length of the strap. Um, and I think it's so cute. So just note, this is flat right now because I'm at home and I don't have anything in it. Obviously, it'll puff out a little bit when you start throwing like your wallet, your keys, your phone, whatever you need in your bag. Um, it's a really, really nice soft leather. The quality is great. Um, it's got a zipper, which I know, I know like my mom is always looking for bags with a zipper. She doesn't like to risk anything falling out. So a zipper is great. It's also great if you are like traveling on the subway or even if you're in like the airport and you're like pushing your bag behind you and you're like, I don't know, sometimes you want to zip when you're like running around a lot of people and you're like throwing it behind you and not really paying attention to it. So I think that's great. It's a nice gold zipper. The inside has this main big pocket and then a great little side pocket. This side pocket is made out of the same like super soft leather. So it's really, really nice. Um, like I said, yes, you can change the strap. So yeah, the bag is so amazing. I love it so much. And I, the reason that I gravitated towards this is because I feel like I've been seeing a lot of, they're almost like, I almost feel like they were in style when I was in like middle school where they were like more of like the hobo style, hobo or like satchel style bags. And I feel like they're coming back Yes, yeah, so you can make it long enough to go crossbody, which is great. Again, great for oops, great for traveling, and it looks really cute crossbody. I have to say. Um, but like I said, yeah, I'm seeing a lot of this like style of bags where it's just a little bit more like relaxed. It's not so structured. I don't know. I just I really loved it. I think it's great for fall, especially with like these kind of looser, more casual baggier knits. I just think a bag like this goes really, really great with that. Like the styles work really well together. Um, and I loved this color. I saw, I saw, um, I saw you guys like the color too. You could also make it a shoulder bag. So versatile. Like you could literally go from crossbody to shoulder. You could probably like double loop this in here. So it's not so long. Um, but like, what a great bag. What bags can you literally go crossbody to shoulder? Like I, I literally don't have any. Um, but I'm sorry, I'm scatterbrained right now. This color is absolutely amazing. My sisters and I were actually talking about that this a few weeks ago, where we feel like this is almost like the most versatile color. Like it's all year round. It goes with black. It goes with white. It goes with brown. It goes with tan. Like. Where a black bag might be a little too harsh if you're wearing like a cute little white summer dress, like this is perfectly going with that. It's, got, it's matching so well, like the, the colors look great. Same thing though, if you're wearing like black leather pants and a chunky black knit sweater, this looks great with that. Like it kind of brightens it up a little bit. So I love this color. I found that I tend to wear this all the time, like full year round. And I really, really get my use out of bags in this color. Um, and on top of it, it being the type of bag that you can make crossbody, you could do shoulder, like it is so versatile. Um, it's also, like I showed you before, it's a really, really great size. You could like really easily fit everything you need. Like I have one of those big wallets, like not one of the square ones. I have like the rectangle one. So sometimes it doesn't really fit in my bags, but like I've got plenty of room in here for that to throw my phone in, my sunglasses, my keys, like, and I'm good to go. I have plenty of room still. So I love that. I can be the type of person that like likes to carry a lot around just so I have everything. Like I'm like, I need a hand sanitizer. I need like my chapstick. I need my headphones. Like I, I, I like to have everything I need in my bag. So I like a little bit of a bigger bag and this is great for that. Um, yeah, yeah, it is definitely like kind of a modern boho style. I have something in my eye. I really love it. This is another um, brand that I discovered from Vera Shop. Love it. Oh, did I, 
I do have the dust bag and I want to show you guys it because I literally have never gotten a dust bag this nice before in my life. You guys, I recently bought a Chanel bag. The dust bag is like nowhere near as nice as this. Like I have to get it and show you, hold on. Okay, so it's this really nice, it, it came in this dust bag, just a really nice like classic dust bag, but you open it up, it's literally like fuzzy fleece on the inside. Like it is so soft. I was just so impressed by this dust bag. Like literally none of my like luxury designer handbags have come in a dust bag this thick or like well-made. And that's just such a nice touch. Like it's something that you, definitely notice when you buy something from a new brand like you're looking at all of these little details and it sticks out in your mind like I would totally buy another bag from this brand now because the quality of the bag itself is amazing obviously but I also know that they actually care about the products that they're making like they've put so much time into just the dust bag so I really loved that and I wanted to share it because I think that it's it's really important to to look at these little details I believe this is real leather. Um, let's see. I'm, I want to say it is, but let me look inside and see if it... Is there a way I can tell that in here? Um, yeah. This says it should be um, cleaned and conditioned with proper leather cleaning products. So I will say... I do think it's real leather. I'm sorry. Like I said, I woke up a little bit too late today, but yeah. It also says on the inside, I don't know if you guys could see that, but it says Sabrina Zeng, New York, made in Italy, which feels very luxurious. So I love that. Um, it also smells great. Um, let me read you this little card, though, now that I'm looking at it. It says these products are delicate luxury items and should be cleaned and conditioned with proper leather cleaning products. It is recommended that bags in dark colors not be carried when wearing light colored clothing. Color could be transferred from the bag to the clothing, which I've, I've seen that happen from other bags. So I think that's just standard. Since certain leathers have not been treated with water repellents, they are most likely to absorb external substances. It is always advisable to protect leather items from rain and do handle them with, with care. Um, really great. Really nice leather bag. Um, like I said, the quality is great. I love it. I think it looks great with, um, I think it looks great with this outfit. And I think it's the type of bag, which I, I tend to gravitate towards these things where you could literally throw it on with like an athletic outfit and it would look cute. You wouldn't look like you had a super fancy bag on with your workout clothes, but you could also literally carry it like going out to dinner and it, look, it would look great. Like, it's just really versatile. It's a new sort of style and shape for me, but I'm really loving it right now. And I just think it's a really nice bag. I think the brand is great. I'm really happy I discovered this brand. Um, that's the best part of Verishop. But I was really happy to share this with you guys. Um, I think it's a really great find. And I'm really pleased with it. I'm really, really happy with it. And I think it looked great with this outfit. Um, it kind of matched these tones in the skirt. Um, but I will move on now to the shoes. Another great find. Um, okay, 